Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is George Iman, and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga. And I'm here today to talk about the very hot, very steamy chapter 167 of Chainsaw Man. So, why did I think about this very, very hot chapter of Chainsaw Man? Uh, I loved it. I loved it from beginning to end. And it was a very fun chapter in the sense that we get to see a lot of development with Yoru and uh, Denji as their feelings seem to be pretty much keep increasing uh to such lengths that um it gets a little bit hot in here you know i'm a little sweaty right now uh <laughs> but it was really fun and also really showcased a lot of yoru's character slightly because we get to see just how she feels about denji uh and from the thumbnail as you can tell that she definitely feels some some type of way towards denji <laughs> Now, before I go any further with this week's chapter, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder to make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can be up to date with all my chain summon as well as all my anime and manga content that I'll be providing in this channel. It really helps out a lot, and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you guys could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get into this week's chapter. So this week's chapter starts off right where we left off last time, which is pretty much, you know, they go to the alley, uh, freaking uh, Yoru pulls up like a like a crowbar, or like a knife, no, I think it was a knife. And she's like, all right, now take it out. Let me cut it. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And throughout it all, you see both of them like sweaty, like very like, like, like you could tell that they're, they're uncomfortable. So I already knew that she was, there was no way that she was going to be able to do it. Because what happens is, is that she's like, pull it out. And she's like, come on, let's stop stalling and take it out. And then she's like, wait, you want to see my, oh, you just want to see it. It's like, wait, you just want to cut it, right? And I like how Denji's self-aware is like, the way she was coming at him, like, come on, take it out, come on. Like, it's like him being like, wait, you just want to, like, touch it, huh? You just want to see it. Like, that that, that made me laugh, because I was like, Denji's, like, realizing, like, yo, this, this, this chick digging me? Like, and the funniest thing is, throughout it all, he thinks it's just awesome. He doesn't think it's Yoru, because he doesn't know anything about Yoru. So thus far, he's just like, oh. And as soon as he says that, says that you know, like, Yoru, um, she takes the very aggressive, uh, like, approach, where she literally puts her hand... Uh, up in Denji's like pants <laughs> and as that's happening she's just like so would you like me what like like what I don't care about like let's get this over with I just want to cut it don't you want to just like end it right now so like your, your your sexual desires go away like or is me crushing your your balls is that going to turn you on like is that going to set up the mood even better and then she's like like I was like yo Yoru yo she a little freak bro like Yoru like my girl like she's like a dummy mommy at this point <laughs> like i was like yo Doru's into that domination stuff she crushing my man's balls like i was like yo denji seems to be having a good time i mean hey man yoru crushing someone's balls i mean who wouldn't be who wouldn't be like who would be against that right <laughs> but what happens after all um you know she's doing that she's looking at denji and then she starts like looking at him we're like wait a minute and as Denji like look clock size with her as well, you know, they're both sweaty, like very sweaty. And she starts to realize like, you know, she has a flashback of the time where they kiss, or at least you just see like her slightly remembering like the kissing between her and Denji back in, you know, when they wanted the home date at Denji's place where Yoru took over. And she's like, wait, we kissed, huh? It's like, like no, she goes kiss. There's like, Denji's looking at her. It's like, we kiss, huh? And then, like, you see both of their eyes like, locking in and you see like a bunch of sexual tensions all over the place like god like man like that room temperature must be like 200 degrees because i was like whoa this things are getting steamy and what happens is pretty much it was uh, i i really didn't understand who kissed who first but i think denji might have been the one that just went for it uh, because you see the, like you see a panel where they kiss and you know as soon as they kiss uh your back self and I don't know if it was Yoru taking the approach in her kissing Denji or Denji kissing her. But the point is, one of them took the approach. Uh, it was fun seeing Yoru come back up. It's like, whoa. And throughout it all, remember, guys, this is Yoru sweating. So this is, you know, the, the whole idea of, you know, we know that Asa has feelings towards Denji, definitely. And now we know, for some, I mean, we always speculated, like, you know, that she, that Yoru had some sort of feelings towards Denji as well. Because... You know, Asa and Yoru are become like are becoming one slightly, like they or they have become one. Period, because we see that throughout the story, like when they went to that home date, you saw that she was also getting like, like blushing and very like, you know, she was very uh, tense, like you know Yoru was. So there's like that whole idea, like you know, she's always had something for Denji secretly, but she doesn't want to admit it. And in this week's chapter, she really goes for it because as they continue, like you know, as she backs off, she goes to kiss him again, 
and then things get very very spicy and when i mean very very spicy i mean like borderline rated r because what happens is they start like making out and they go in man like they got all that tongue action and they're both having a great time like and you know it was great <laughs> and in the back of my mind you know i'm just thinking to myself like asa's like probably inside her head like it should have been me not her it's not fair she's doing the yugi meme you know from Yu-Gi-Oh, where you know throwing her fist in the floor like it's not fair it should have been me uh <laughs> i just kept dying laughing i was like okay and then you see like the next couple of pages just them making out back and forward i was like okay like they're getting like they're getting very very steamy and you see all this sweat everywhere like you know it's like they're going they're going for you know what denji i'm i'm happy for my mans you know my man definitely deserves some like relief to say the least after all the stress he's been on and my man finally gets to get some action as well you know all the other times you know he's kind of been played to a sense or he hasn't really like gotten like any sort of action like i mean the only time we ever really saw him get action was i believe reese and himeno, himeno and that, that that was like a throw up everywhere so that, that we don't want to talk about the himeno scene <laughs> but now with your you know he seems to genuinely be happy because like as like, they continue on you know they, they like i said things keep getting hotter and hotter and what eventually happens is you know like you just see like denji kind of like rolling his eyes back and then it cuts to i believe it's uh also taking back over her body and you know as, as soon as they stop like you know being all, all over each other you know you're uh denji and it seems like asa took back her body again and you see like asa just looks at her, her, her you know her hand and um let's just say denji relieved himself and oh my goodness when i got to that part i was like only fujimoto man fujimoto is the only dude in shonen jump that would be as bold and brave to do something like this i was like when i got to that chapter like when i got to the last page i literally burst at, burst it out laughing for like a good minute and a half like i was just like he's the goat <laughs> Fujimoto's just a shonen goat like my, my man is built different man like you don't see any authors be that brave and it also goes to show how much confidence and you know trust that shonen jump gives to Fujimoto because my man just you know he they don't compromise with his vision my man can do whatever he wants and I love it because this is like un 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 unheard te ter territory in shonen jump so I love that and pretty much that's how it ends now I, I, I I'm just laughing at the fact that Asa you know, she just gets in her back in her body and she's like, what is this? <laughs> she doesn't say, but she, you can look at her and you see the hand and like, oh my goodness, man. Was that a Ava reference or, or am I right? Right? <laughs> was that ever a Eva reference? You know, the hand, like, it was hilarious, man. I just kept thinking of Shinji, but thankfully it wasn't like the Shinji. We don't talk about that Shinji scene. We don't, we don't. Thankfully, this was a consensual scene between two lovers, Asa and Denji. Uh, I mean, more Yoru and Denji, but still. We don't talk about that scene. We don't talk about the day, the Ava scene. But wrapping things up, uh, I'm wondering where it goes from now. Like, are they just like, is also going to be like, okay, it's not fair. You you did that with Yoru, but not me. What if that happens, man? What if she genuinely gets pissed? I was like, no. Okay, um, you get down. Uh, Yoru, you might have given him a, you know, a handy dandy. But I'm going to take his V card. Like, I, I think this is hilarious. I think what if Yoru and, and Asa have a secret competition of who gets to like do it with Denji like first? Like, like my man, te technically, like if he were to get at us, uh, Yoru and Asa, would that be considered a threesome? Valid question. I mean, I'm just saying, like they're two individual people in one body. Would that be considered a three a threesome? Would it be considered cheating if Asa and him uh, become in a relationship and he's getting a Yoru? Big questions to ask. <laughs> but. With all that being said, I love, 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 love this chapter. It's actually one of my favorite chapters in all of Chainsaw Man, including part one. And I had a blast from beginning to end. And yeah, now with all that being said, what did you guys think about this week's chapter? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys thought it was all right? Whatever you guys thought, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Chainsaw Man, as well as more anime and manga content in the near future. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.